So, can you claim depreciation on an old investment property? Say something like 60 years of age. Now, of course, most people would say no, but you might be surprised. G'day guys, my name is Tim Guest, and I'm Australia's leading financial educator and the managing director of Infinite Wealth. Welcome along to our Just Ask Tim video series, where I answer questions from our followers and help them navigate the minefield of finance, real estate, and investment. Now, of course, we'd love to see your interaction with these videos, so please comment, question, like, love, angries. Uh, if you have a question yourself, post it in the comments below or send us a message and I'll get around to answering your questions in one of these videos. And of course, all we ask in return for sharing this valuable information with you is that you share, share, share it with your friends and family. So let's get into it. Let's talk depreciation. I had a question from Daniel this week asking about, he recently purchased an investment property that was 60 years of age and he was asking whether he'd be able to claim depreciation on it. Now, first of all, let's talk a little bit about what depreciation is. So when you buy an investment property, a lot of people will ask, well, hey, what the, what the hell are we talking about depreciation? I mean, the reason why you buy an investment property is hopefully over time it's going to increase in value. It's going to appreciate rather than depreciate. However, when we're talking about investment property, there's two parts of any property. We've got the land component and the building component. Over time, what typically appreciates in value is the block of land. The house itself will depreciate over time, meaning that it'll lose value, just like a car or just like a laptop or something along those lines. The Australian Tax Office, providing you have an investment property, i.e. an income producing property, will allow you to claim depreciation as a tax deduction against an investment property that you own. Now there's two different types of depreciation that you can claim. You can claim what they refer to as capital works, which is the building allowance, the amount the actual building will depreciate over time, and they'll normally allow you to claim this over about a 40 year period. They'll also allow you to claim the depreciation on fixtures and fittings, or what they often refer to as plant and equipment. So essentially the real difference is are, you know, uh, well, essentially fixtures and fittings or plant equipment, they're referring to something that can be easily uh, removed from the property, okay? Now, these depreciation changes came in uh, initially in 1985, they were then changed again in 1987. However, what it means is this, is that if you bought a property that was constructed prior to 1985, you're unable to make any claim when it comes to the building allowance. However, you'll still be able to make a claim when it comes to the fixtures and fittings or the plant and equipment. Now, don't also get these confused when it comes to maintenance items. So maintenance items are you know, th repairs, things like that. So if you do a repair on a property, you can immediately claim it in that financial year. Depreciation, we're talking about things like renovations or additions that you're adding to a property or new construction that you're actually making on a property. So Daniel, while your property is 60 years of age and you won't be able to make any claim when it comes to the building uh, allowance on that property, you may be able to make claims with regards to the fixtures and fittings or the plant and equipment. Now, how, of course, would you know how to do this? The best way to do it is by getting what they refer to as a licensed quantity surveyor. As an example, if you want to get a depreciation on a property, it's something that we can actually provide for you. So you can just contact us and we'll arrange for a quantity surveyor to go and visit your property. When they visit the property, they essentially com uh, compile a report. This report, once it's put together, there are two methods that they can use to um, work out the, the levels of depreciation. However, really all you need to know is once you've got that report from a licensed quantity surveyor, it just then becomes a report that you give to your accountant at the end of each financial year, and they'll then be able to determine the different types of depreciation that you can claim on that house. So guys, that pretty much covers everything when it comes to depreciation. Like I said, we'd love to see your interaction with these videos, so please comment, question, like, love, angry. Keep the questions coming at me because I wanna share as much of my uh, knowledge and experience as I possibly can to help you guys, hardworking everyday Australians, uh, start to build their wealth and live the life that they really wanna live. Uh, once again, last uh, request that I have, guys, is please share these videos with your friends and family so that we can continue to build a bigger audience and I can continue to uh, share this valuable information with you. That's it for me, guys. Stay tuned, we're gonna have another video coming up in Thursday, which is our Why the Weekend Real Estate, giving you all the hot news happening from the weekend real estate. And uh, if not, then I'll see you next uh, Monday or Tuesday when I do my next uh, Q&A video. Thanks a lot, guys. Have a great day.